What's going on, JCT TV? It is your boy, Marzu, with the ET News. Lorenzo Sempo Jr., the brains behind the Batman TV series, has died a day after celebrating his 91st birthday. The beloved screenwriter, who created scripts for classic films like The Three Days of the Condor, Papillon, and Bond film Never Say Never Again, passed away on Friday at his home in Los Angeles. Semple was responsible for the iconic POW and Kapow graphics that popped up on screen during the Batman TV fight scenes. He also wrote the screenplay for the 1966 Batman movie. Next up, Real Housewives of Atlanta stars Portia Stewart and Kenya Moore got into a vicious brawl on Thursday, March 27th. U.S. Weekly can confirm. The incident occurred while the two ladies were filming the always combative reunion special for the Bravo series. They did get into an altercation. Portia stood up, so then Kenya stood up, and inside it tells us. Portia charged at Kenya and pulled their hair, but it was over in a matter of seconds. Portia never dragged her by the hair. Andy Cohen and a producer jumped in, and then security came. Stewart and Moore had been going head to head with each other for years. Back in 2012, Moore called the newcomer Stewart naive and a heifer, and ranted about her new co-star just five minutes after meeting her in season five. Losing my cool, getting out of character, cursing somebody else, embarrassing yourself, I can pretty much say I've done all of that. Moore told us weekly, it's a reality show, things happen. And next up, a Utah man arrested on DUI, erratic driving, and speeding charges failed to get up, up and away from the police despite the fact that he was wearing a Superman t-shirt, get this, and that his name is Christopher Reeves. Reeves, 33, of Layton, Utah, was pulled over early Tuesday morning after a Davis County Sheriff's deputy noticed him weaving in and out of traffic on I-15. Sheriff's spokesperson Sergeant Susan Poston told the Davis Clipper newspaper that Reeves was a frequent flyer, a suspect with a long record of drug violation arrests. The Clipper reported that Reeves was being held on a $15,000 bail until he bends the bars of his jail cell with the superhuman strength or uses his heat vision to blast through a wall. So let's jump right into the top 10. At number 10, we have Drunken Love by Beyonce featuring Jay-Z. At number nine, The Man by Aloe Black. At number eight, One Counting Stars by One Republic. At number seven, Team by Lord. At number six, we have Pompeii by Bastille. At number five, Let It Go by Indina Menzel. At number four, Talk Dirty, Jason Derulo featuring Two Chains. At number three, we have Dark Horse, Katy Perry featuring Juicy J. At number two, All of Me by John Legend. And at number one, we have Happy by Pharrell Williams. I'm Marzu with the ET News, and stick around for more.